in is that it's uh, you see that nice bubbling action that we're getting you get a little more surface area and you get a little bit more um, evaporation and reduction so we're just going to let that go for a while It was the pan, yeah. yeah, it was covered. Okay. So there was probably, um, you know, okay. two or three cups of, yeah, it was it was pretty full there. Uh, I'd say about a cup of port, okay. yeah. So we're gonna let this reduce. I'm gonna bring the temperature up so we get that nice, um, when we talk about reduction, basically what we're doing is reducing it in volume. And what you see here is all the water content evaporating out of it and leaving the flavors behind. So that's when we talk about reduction sauces. Very simple to make. Um, it's not, it's, you think of it in simple terms. I mean, reduction, reducing, it's, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so we've got our little, uh, little skin on baby bakers and we're gonna keep it simple, all right, Bob? Is that all right with you? Go ahead, no garlic, huh? No garlic, I'm sorry. I know, I've really disappointed you. Couple pads of butter. People always ask why is restaurant food so good? That's because we use, we use butter and we use cream. Uh, in this case, I'm putting a little bit of half and half in there. My salt and pepper. Is that pan on now? No, no, that's off. Always start with small amounts of seasoning. You can always add more. Always start small. So you, um, as I said, always add more, but you can never take it out. And basically all I'm doing with these, just the back of a fork. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just gonna uh, break each one of them up individually. We, I'm not looking for, you know, nice whipped mash or anything like that. I'm just crashed potatoes. I like it. Uh, skin on. Still some chunks of potato. Just like at the restaurant. Exactly. Is it ready? Crashed potatoes. Now we spoke about making sure everything's ready at the same time. Here you go. There we go. Potatoes are ready. They'll be nice and warm. Okay. Got our little pan sauce going on. Check our scallions and our pork chops. Waiting for these scallions to just soften up and brown. You can see the carrots underneath are getting nice and soft and browning up. And then uh, way down the bottom, we got our pork chops coming up. All right. So we're probably only a few minutes away. The only thing I will do um, to make this more saucy is I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of flour into it. Just whisk a little flour into it. First, I'm going to do first I'm going to do a little taste. See how we're doing on uh, flavor. When I make a little butter too. Well, you could round it out with a little bit of butter in the end, but we've got, I think we've got enough butter going on. I don't necessarily always like to thicken sauces with flour. Uh, I don't necessarily like really thick, you know, cloying sauces. Just simple little pan sauces like this. And in this case, just a just a little bit of flour. I'll wor work a little bit of flour into it. Oh, cool. Oh, perfect. Yeah. There you go. Wondra is super quick mixing flour. And what do I need? Just a little whisk. Uh-huh. There we go. I knew I'd find it. And uh, one of the keys when you're, when you're working flour or something into a sauce, always whisk, whisk while you add it too, you know? And just a little bit. So like I said, I'm not looking for a serious, you know, cloying, sticky, crazy sauce. I like kind of fresh and light. 
So I'll just put a little bit in there, give it a little whisk. And as I said, that um, that will thicken up slowly as it as it cooks. So I think we might be ready to put a little plate together. We've got our poached pears. And these are great for dessert also if somebody doesn't want them necessarily with their with their pork chops. A little crashed potato. Nice pork chop. We'll stand those right up on, on top of the pears. A little carrot and scallion. What's that? Every once in a while, yeah, as a special. And then finish it with a little bit of our, um, a little bit of our pan sauce. How's that smell? Mm. Fabulous. So once again, simple ingredients. We kept it simple. There's really no crazy ingredients or crazy techniques or anything that we did uh, today that I know either of you are certainly capable of doing. I think even Bob might be able to handle this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I give Bob a hard time. Bob's an excellent. Bob never invited me over for dinner, but from what I understand, he really he cooks very nicely. Um, so we have the little crusted pork chop, poached pears, little pan sauce, crashed potatoes, very simple, roasted veggies. What did it take us? Half an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Half an hour. Okay, cool. Uh, once again, Scott Richardson, Bullfinch's Restaurant, the Gorilla Gourmet. If you want us to film at your house, we'd love to. Uh, drop us an email at bullfinches at AOL.com, subject Gorilla Gourmet. If you want to see uh, any versions of this, you can check, out, check us out on YouTube, Gorilla Gourmet at YouTube. Bob Heisen, Heisen Photography in Framingham, uh, the Harvey household here in Southboro. Thank you very much, uh, Nina, Carl, and Kelsey, and thank you to Audra. Take care.